Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and of course, the big new feature that's been added as part of PS4 firmware update 4.50 is external hard drive support. This has been requested since basically when the system launched, and just over three years later, Sony's finally getting around to adding it. Now, I'm going to show you how to set it up. It's very easy, um, but a few things to keep in mind first, very quickly. The first thing is that your external hard drive is going to need to be USB 3.0. If it's USB 2.0, then the transfer speeds from the hard drive to the PS4 aren't quick enough and it's not going to work. So it needs to be USB 3.0. You can use a hard drive, an external hard drive, up to 8 terabytes in size. So if you are going to take advantage of this feature, then you're going to add a lot of storage space for your games to the PS4. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is plug the external hard drive into your console and if it requires powering up, then power it up as well. Go to settings, then devices, and then click on USB storage devices, and it's going to detect the external hard drive, and it's going to ask you to format it as extended storage. Click this, but do be aware that it will wipe any data that's currently installed on your external hard drive. So if you've got files on there, photos, music, whatever it may be, make sure you back those up someplace else, because they're going to be gone once you format this as extended storage. Once the process is complete, go back to settings and click on storage storage this time and you'll see two options there. You'll see system storage and you'll see extended storage. Now system storage is what's currently stored on your PS4's internal hard drive. Extended storage represents your external hard drive and what you can do is you can click on system storage and you can browse the applications that you've got installed and if you press options you can select move to extended storage so you can start moving files across from your PS4's internal hard drive onto your new external hard drive. What's also going to happen is your, your external hard drive is going to become the default download location so if you download a game from the PlayStation Store it's going to download to your external hard drive rather than the hard drive that's inside your PS4 which hopefully is what you want but if it isn't you can easily copy it across back across just in exactly the same way by browsing through your applications and moving the files across. Now one thing to be aware of if, is if you're going to stop using your extended storage or your external hard drive, you need to boot up the quick menu by holding down the PlayStation button, click on sound slash devices and browse down to stop using extended storage and this is going to just safely detach it from your console so that you're free to unplug it or whatever you need to do. Um, and that's basically it, it's quite simple, it's quite straightforward Sony's made it very easy to do um, and this is a great feature particularly if you play a lot of games and you don't want to have to delete and reinstall stuff all the time then external hard drive is a great way to go I hope this video helps if you do have any questions let me know in the comments section and thank you as always so much for watching